Hello my friends, I'm out here in the good old Arizona desert again, and I'm getting ready to fire up some pottery. And oh boy, this is going to be quite a lot of fun. This is going to be a Sanawa themed firing, and I've got quite a number of pots, including this really cool jar that's going to be a neat gift I hope for someone this year. Alright, as you can see, I'm not using a pit this time. It's actually slightly above ground. I've got a little perimeter around here to keep the fire in place, but this is going to be pretty much the majority of it. Easy peasy, hopefully, on this one. So here's a quick rundown of all the goods that I'm going to be firing today. Not too many, I got a couple jars and a few bowls. This is the bowl I made from my Secrets of the Sanagua series that I'm working on. This video will actually probably come out way before that does though. So this is going to be the firing of that. And I did add some hematite wash to it. It's going to be smudged on the inside if everything goes well. This is my gift jar right here. Oh, this is a real beauty. I hope this turns out. Then I got this personal project of mine. It's a nice, smooth little jar. And here's another bowl using that Verde Valley clay. Oh, that's some beautiful stuff. This one I did not add any hematite. It's just going to be raw buff. And then I've got this crazy little quail guy right here. It's probably going to be another gift. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. And to smudge these bowls, I just got some regular basic old pine needles. These things are always fun to work with because they're so sharp. Chuck those in there just like that. Flip it upside down now. And here's how I line these up. As you can tell, I'm smudging a lot of stuff in this, except for that big jar. Everything else is flipped upside down. So if you've been watching some of my earlier videos, you can definitely tell I'm doing something really different this time. I'm not even using a really pre-firing for this. I am going to pre-fire just to warm up my pot since it's cold out today. As you can tell, I've stacked the wood on the side of this thing. I'm going to let these three key points burn itself out, and then I'm going to stack the wood on it and get the fire going. The main reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to avoid getting a lot of smudge marks on the top of this since I am smudging quite a bit of this. And I also want to experiment around just to see the effects that it may cause. So let's get some of this stuff going. All right, and there we go. Now all I gotta do is hunt down some wood for the main firing. All right, so I found some really gnarly looking Palo Verde wood that I'm going to use for this firing. I'm going to start stacking this stuff up and hope that it balances over all this. It's always difficult when you don't have those Y looking branches, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh man, this smoke too. Yikes. I don't know about you, my friend. And for this fire, I'm going to light it from the top. That'll give it a little bit more time to warm up those pots under there and well, at least in theory it should, hopefully, guys. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. We're lit. Now we just got to wait for this thing to really combust. Well, this wasn't quite what I was expecting to. It started from the top and worked its way on the bottom just on that side. The side I'm on right now is completely dead. I may have to add a little bit of firewood to make sure this thing goes up evenly on this particular side. Oh, boy, but it's starting to ignite pretty quick. All right, so there we go. We got the fire. Looks like it's saved on that side. It's going really well right now. It'll be a few more minutes before it fully combusts and we got a nice fire going. I hope it doesn't fire up too fast though, because if it does, uh, it's really a gamble with the jars and bowls on the inside, mainly because I did not preheat those really well. So they're not warmed up too well and the ground underneath it's still pretty cool. So this could definitely be interesting. We'll see how this goes in just a few minutes here.
Well, this fire really is going well underway right now. Oh man, we just hit the 700s all around and it's looking really beautiful. It's still combusting in certain areas, which is a good sign. This is gonna be a long, really hot firing and I'm really excited to see the results on this. Best of all, I haven't heard any explosions or anything crazy like that yet. So that's always a good sign. I've got my fingers crossed and let's hope for the best. Oh, looks like it's just some nice fluffy ash right here. This is this is nice. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous about this, guys. That. Uh... It was supposed to be smudged on the inside, but I think it was firing so long it actually burned the carbon out on the inside. This could be bad for those bowls. Oh man, but yeah, just look at that. It's like pretty clean on the inside. Wow. Oh boy, I don't know about this. And then I got this crazy little guy cooling down. Huh. Oh man. Always something wild. All right, let's see if this is going to be good or bad news. I don't know about these bowls. That's so weird with the jar. Uh, not too bad. And from my Verde Valley bowl here. Oh, come on, my friend. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well guys, that sure was an awesome Sanawa firing, wasn't it? Oh man, the results are just amazing. Just check this beautiful jar out. Oh my goodness. These fire clouds are crazy. Oh my goodness. Doesn't get much more beautiful than this. And then... We've got the sound of success right there, guys. Isn't that amazing? Check this fire cloud out, though. That is like, oh, that just takes the cake right there, that one. All these beautiful burnt-in marks. Wow, this is going to make one awesome gift, I think. And here's my beautiful Sanawa bowl that I made. Just came out so nice and smudged on the inside. That hematite wash on the outside is just absolute beautiful as well. Has a really sweet ding to it. I noticed somewhere along the rim there's a very tiny, tiny crack. I can live with that. This was such a fun project. I got to actually make this out in the wild. It's going to be part of my upcoming series I have on making Sanawa pottery out in the wild. It's going to be really fun and it challenges me completely. I just got to manage to get a trip up to the Verde Valley to record the intro video before I can start releasing some of these. But I'm definitely looking forward to that. And here's one of those fired and completed bowls right here. Oh, I'm actually going to use these as well. This is going to be some food's going in here and it's going to be some good eating i hope and i got this crazy beautiful jar here oh it's so smooth to touch it came out so nice no cracks oh man the weird thing about this is i crammed this thing full of pine needles and it is not as smudged as i would have liked it to have been that's kind of bizarre uh, maybe because i'm using the sand it didn't complete a nice seal on the dirt and allowed some air to get in there or i just got it so hot that it may have started burning out carbon on the inside it was burning for at least an hour this fire so it was a really good firing this is just oh i can't believe how smooth it is this is a nice jar oh man and finally the last guy this little verde valley bowl that i made it's been smudged on the inside and i left them buff on the outside with no wash or any kind of slip added to it just raw beauty right here he did come out kind of filthy though i'm hoping i can wash some of this up and see if we get any more of the coloring it does look like some ashes still on there but the inside it's just looking absolutely magnificent. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. 
All right, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed watching how I fire these Sanawa pots today. If you did, please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button and helping this channel grow. I've got tons more content similar to this and a lot of lapidary stuff as well. So check it out. All right, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Till next time.